Thank you for joining us at the Roundtable. Brought to you by Community Education Arts, a nonprofit organization based in Noblesville, Indiana. I'm Alice Cavanis Gober, President of CE Arts. And I'm Sarah E. Morin, Secretary of CE Arts. Let's sit down at the Roundtable. Welcome to our presentations for the 2021 The Polk Street Review. We will be getting our live readings and art presentations and awards in about 12 minutes. So stick around. You yeah. may join us live on Zoom or right here on Facebook. We're so excited to do this. This has been a year in the making. We should probably say that. Um, it's an annual project that we do at Community Education Arts. And part of our project uh, includes a lot of podcast um, discussions uh, with lots of different artists and about different things, arts related. And of course, the annual book, the Polk Street Review. And so February is always our publication month. So um, we've been working on this book since last February, and now it's time for a new book launch. <laughs> so exciting. That I know that uh, I've always loved about the Polk Street Review, even before um, you and I took over the editing back when I was a contributor, is, right. you know, so often we as artists and writers are solitary creatures. Mm -hmm. And it was so nice to be able to gather with other writers and creators and kind yeah. of form that little little family just for one evening even yeah one evening we have always done a one evening presentation and I, I think i've said every single year that since we took over the the project i've said every single year that i wish we could just devote an entire you know day or weekend or whatever it would take so that every single person that submits and gets published in our book could present their work mm -hmm. um because what we what we do for the book launch is we we just select um, you know, a certain, a few presentations to represent all, all aspects of uh, what's in the book. And it's a very hard choice to make who presents because that, that gives those authors, uh, the writers of prose, poetry, the, the artists who produce photography or artwork images, and the songwriters, it gives, it gives them, you know, a feature, at, you know, at the book launch. And it's so hard to make that decision because I say this every year, every single thing that we publish deserves to be presented in, you know, in person or at least uh, in Zoom or something, you know, to the public. So right. um, all we can say is buy the book because, you know, that's that's the best uh, way to see everything, right? Uh, to experience the publication. But you mentioned that, you know, you were a contributor before um, uh, we took over the publication um, as a 501c3, when our 501c3 took over the publication in 2016 uh -huh. with the publication of the 2017 edition. Before that, it was uh, it was published by a couple of local authors, Bill Kenley and Kurt Meyer, and you and I both contributed, uh, you know, to prior um, editions of it. And it was always so much fun, and and um, you know, we kind of got to know different people through that. But um, that's not how you and I met. But it's interesting that we both uh, contributed to past works and and didn't really uh, know. Hey, there's Jenny. <laughs> Our first guest has arrived. Yay. <laughs> and as she connects to audio, you hi, should... Jenny. You can turn your audio on and say hi. <laughs> Sarah E., why don't you go ahead and start the scrolling of the... Um, oh, absolutely. I know? can do that. It's close. I mean, it's 551. It's close enough. What we're going to have in the background while people join... Uh, the Zoom meeting is uh, we're going to show all the artwork that is published in the book this year. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Jenny. Uh, the Kalahars are in the house. Yay. <laughs> you guys can unmute. We're just chatting right now if you want to if you want to say hi or anything. I know, Jenny, I know you're having problems with your voice and Sarah E is going to read your poem tonight. So we're just so happy you guys could be with us. I am um, honored always to read a Jenny Kalahar poem. I know there's I mean, you know, that we were just talking about all the different submissions and what we publish in the book 
book and how hard it is to pick what's going to be presented at book launches because everything in the book is so wonderful and um, all of the all of the stuff that we get uh, from all the authors and artists and songwriters is just always it just blows me away every year to see the talent um, that is in and around our area and beyond our area because although the Polk Street Review started as, you know, a kind of a local Noblesville, Indiana uh, project. We, since we've taken it over, it's kind of grown and, you know, <laughs> gone beyond what I think uh, Sarah E or I could have even imagined or dreamed it could. And we ha we do receive some uh, uh, submissions from all over the world. Um, so that's that's fun. Uh, so what you're seeing right now, you Facebook and people out there, um, is, is all the artwork that we received that got published. And so um, these are uh, this this uh, slideshow that you're seeing, Sarah E. put this together, and it's just fabulous because you can see the details of the paintings and the photographs and everything, and you can see the titles and who the artists are. And um, I feel like I've said this a million times, and I'll, I'll just keep saying it. We love to have artwork about every two to three text, poem, prose, whatever. Uh, we like to have artwork interspersed. And so it's kind of cool to have such unique and wonderful pieces of artwork in the book this year. Warren is in the house. <laughs> Hi, Warren. <laughs> Hi, Warren. Glad to have you here. And, and here's Leah. Leah. Here. Hi, Leah. You guys Welcome. can. I wanted to tell you guys, you can unmute um, for our little chit chatty part right now if you want to say hi or anything like that. Uh, we do have a chat box going that I hope you guys can all see. I am not going to have the chat box up on my screen, so if if you direct something to either Sarah E or me, you better direct it to Sarah E because I won't see it. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm limited in my technological savvy, <laughs> so. I'm going to very quickly, Alice, just make sure that uh, Spike's all logged on so we can. Yes, and yes, and while right while you're doing that, I will thank him for uh, what he's doing for us tonight. So for this book launch, Sarah E's husband, Spike, Spike Morn Wilson, you you guys know him, I'm sure. He is kind of manning our Facebook Live component of this because uh, I very quickly realized that I did not know how to be hosting a zoom meeting and kind of be answering comments and you know chatting in in facebook so i was like i can't do that <laughs> you know so spike uh very kindly volunteered to kind of man the facebook live element of of our book launch this year so yay spike thank you <laughs> and um as far as we know, that's just going to, the Facebook Live is just going to run. I, I don't, I don't have it up on a screen. It's just, it's just running. So <laughs> somebody else joined. Let me, let me scroll down. There's Marlene and Chuck. Hi, Marlene Million and Chuck Kellum. Uh, you, if you guys want to unmute and say hi, um, we're, we're just doing introductory hellos and welcoming everybody that's joining us. I'm so happy you guys can make it tonight. Sarah E is here with us. She's just checking in with Spike about manning the Facebook Live part of the video. Uh, just made it back. Oh, great, because uh, Spike offered to do that for us. So, um, and what you're seeing is uh, Sarah E put together a wonderful slideshow of all the artwork that we published this year. Um, and which is really nice because our book, as you guys know, is seven by nine. It's a smaller book. And so to see these images in a, a slightly larger um, format is really nice. So uh, Sarah E, thank you so much for doing that. It looks great. It was my pleasure to, pardon me, to put it together. And if I'm not sure if you're getting the names cut off, but the previous picture was also um, Andrea Hayden. Oh, yeah. she And, you know, I got to say, every year that we've put this, this uh, book out, we get the most incredible artwork from different people. And I, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, we had one artist who sent in an entire series of portraits of, uh, you know, women of Noblesville portraits. And um, we've had uh, lots of different writers who are also artists contribute both artwork and um, written things. And Andrea's artwork is just fabulous. We had such good artwork from Andrea and Audrey and 
and oh my gosh, I shouldn't try to list names because I'll forget somebody. <laughs> but um, so many people, uh, so many people sent in really good stuff. And uh, peppered throughout the book is always some of my artwork because like I said, I like to have artwork about every two to three written pieces. And so sometimes, you know, we get more written pieces than we do artwork. And so I end up using some of my own to kind of, you know, put it in there just to make it make it an easy read because you read two or three poems and prose pieces and you're ready for a visual break, right? <laughs> That's the kind of book it is. So um, so that's my way of encouraging everybody to always send us artwork. <laughs> Whether you think you're an artist or not, we want your artwork. <laughs> you say that very humbly, but I like your art being in there, Alex. Oh, the thank you. You're there. very, very sweet. You're very, very sweet. Oh, my son, John, has joined us. John's in the house. Yay. Welcome, John. Mm -hmm. Hello. And, hello. So we're just, um, what you're seeing, I was telling everybody, is just all the artwork that, that we uh, published this year. It's all fabulous and it's fun to look at. So um, we're just. I we're apologize, just... Sandra, for misspelling your name there. Oh, <laughs> what yeah. am I doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might have had it wrong in, in the uh, information I sent you. Oh, that looks yummy. And this is the second year that we asked for people to send in recipes. So we're still trying to drum up business for recipes, uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, family recipes or things like that. And so um, we did get a few. And I, ha I have a feeling as the years go forward, we'll get more and more recipes. We consider those prose pieces, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. It's fun to have a, it's fun to have a, 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 you know, recipe included every now and then. And there's Doug Church. Oh, Doug, I'm so happy to see you. This is Hello. Alice. And Doug Church is one of our longtime supporters. And I just want to thank you so much for um, all of the support that you give the Polk Street Review. We really appreciate when local people like you continue to support us. Uh, hope, I hope the books arrived. <laughs> I'm never sure with the mail what's going on, but uh, no, not to not to disparage the the mail because it's been doing a good job. But hopefully you got those and and we're able to enjoy them. What what we're seeing right now is just um, we have some images of all the artwork that we published this year. So this is kind of just our little introductory welcome everybody time. Um, Sarah E. Hey, also. Yeah. Um Go oh, ahead. sorry to interrupt you, Alice, but I do want to and encourage you to use the chat box, cheer each other on throughout sure. this. Mm -hmm. As we do presentations, feel free to, to put little hey, encouraging Bonnie. comments in there. Um, because one of the things that's always been great about the book launch is that feeling of, hey, we're writers, we're creators, we're actually here and not you know alone in our studios, alone at our desk right. writing we're together. Right. So yeah. that wonderful feeling of encouragement, as much as we can emulate it on Zoom, we would love yeah. to do so. Yes, and welcome, Bonnie, and welcome, George. We're so happy that you guys are with us tonight. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited everybody's joining. It's really, this is our, oh, by the way, I should probably warn everybody, this is our very first time to take one of our Zoom workshops, presentation events, something like that, live on Facebook. So, um, Sarah E's husband, Spike, is kind of manning our live Facebook video presence for us to make sure that we're not messing anything up. And um, he's he's there to, to interact with our Facebook audience. But we are so happy that you guys are all joining us here to um, do our little, uh, it's I call it a little book launch because as you know, in the past, our book launches have been two and a half, three hours long. This is going to be about an hour long. We're, if we can stick to our schedule, it's going to be about an hour long. And we're really excited to just boom, 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 zoom it out there to everybody. Ellie Payne, welcome, welcome. Is that Michelle? <laughs> okay, Michelle, Mish, Mish. Let me update that. Yeah, my, my daughter's been on here. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait a minute. I know that face, but that does not match the name. So right. welcome, welcome. We're so happy you can make it tonight. Thank you. Everything okay, Sarah E? Yes, I'm just okay. uh, making sure everything's connected so we don't run out of power in the middle of it. I know. That's how I'm, <laughs> isn't it funny how, how we have become so dependent, even more dependent on technology in a way, I think. I don't know what I would have done this past year without Zoom, that's for sure. <laughs> got more people coming in. I got to scroll down and see who to say hello to. 
Uh, it feels like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and there's just people. I know. Howdy, neighbor. There's George <laughs> Wiley. Welcome, George Wiley, and Susan, Susan Kreitz, Susan Kreitz. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know who Susan is. Susan, who are you? <laughs> Now, most of you are already on mute, and um, since it is about six, I was going to go ahead and launch into some of the formal announcements, if that's okay, Alice. Yes, go right, right ahead. So, okay. uh, Sarah is going to mute everybody. Uh, you can mute me if you want, or, or <laughs> I don't know if you want to mute me. I don't want to mute you, okay. Alice. <laughs> You're the first. You're the first who doesn't want to mute me. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, hang on one second. Alice Vamp, I have to answer. That's okay. A uh, vamp. You want me to vamp? Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll just keep. I'll just keep welcoming people. <laughs> Susan C is Chuck's sister. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Susan C. Chuck's sister. Yay. Sandra, welcome. Hey, please, uh, please don't put pictures of food on here. Because... <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, uh, you know, that's an interesting thing to bring up because um, normally at our book launches, we put out a spread and we have wine and whatever. And, and Deborah, I'm so glad to see you have your glass of wine. And I, I hope every, I was gonna, I should have put in my email to everybody, hey, you know, be sure you bring your own refreshments because we can't really give you refreshments in Zoom. I guess our food images are what what we're giving you for refreshments. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is only the second year that we have included recipes in the book. And it's really kind of fun uh, to have a recipe with hopefully an image. You know, we tried to ask people if they sent in recipes to include an image. Um, so uh, that was kind of fun. And we're going to keep doing that. I think it's a good addition to the book. How are you doing, Sarah E? I am ready. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for vamping. Yes. Oh, yeah. Woo. So thank you everybody for being here um at this time if uh we can make sure that we are all on mute and that is just to make sure that uh, we don't have the sound bleed of you know just lots of different background noises uh and then if you are a presenter then we'll ask you to unmute when it's your time to present and then just to remute yourself uh when you are finished and we're so looking forward to to seeing uh different artwork tonight you see some of it already and to listening to excerpts from wonderful pieces yes we're so um, excited chat box is also being monitored so feel free to encourage each other on chat box or make comments and for those um, of you Alice. out on i was just gonna say for those of you who are watching on facebook be sure you go ahead and comment and send those hearts and and thumbs up to to the things that you like and spike is uh there on facebook to answer any comments and questions that you have there so yeah we're ready Oh, my, okay. oh, we're supposed to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, I'm Alice Cavanis Gober, and uh, I'm the president of Community Education Arts. And I, I, I'm supposed to tell you about myself and my role in the organization. So that's me and my role in the organization. And for the Polkster Review, I have to say right from the get go that anything that's not right in the book is my fault. <laughs> Sarah E is my co editor, and she is fabulous, but I am responsible for the layout and the format and getting the manuscript ready for the printer. So if there are any typos or anything like that in the book, that's that's on me and I apologize in advance. Um, but uh, we, oh, I think I said it a little while ago, we, um, we started publishing this book. Uh, we took it over in 2016 with the 2017 edition being published in February 2017. And that became our tradition to publish the book in February. So this is this is the 2021 edition. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So uh, Sarah E, your turn. Yes, so hi everybody. I'm Sarah E. Morin and I am secretary of CEA Arts. Um, I get to help edit. Uh, the Polk Street Review, and uh, both Alice and I love working on our brainchild, NICE, the yes. Noblesville Interdisciplinary Creativity Expo. And <gasps> be sure to listen to our podcast at the Roundtable because we uh, have selected four books that we'll be exploring in depth this year. And we would love for you to, to hear what we select and then go along on the ride all year. So yeah. uh, the Polk Street Review, uh, did I interrupt you, Alice? No, I was just gonna say that NICE is our other annual project. We have mm -hmm. the two of them, yeah, so. 
Mm -hmm. So the Polk Street Review, um, it was in existence before us, but we mm -hmm. took it over in 2016. Our first book was published in 2017. Mm -hmm. And Polk Street, by the way, was the, oh, this works out perfectly with this slide. Polk Street <laughs> um, is the original, or the original name of 8th Street in Noblesville. Um, our theme this year for the book is family traditions, old and new. Contributors could either write to the theme, uh, but they didn't have to, especially if they were a previous contributor. And we also encourage contributors or pieces to have some kind of connection to Noblesville. But you know, we have been recently getting contributors from even different countries, which is exciting. Uh, some of them find out about us maybe by following us on social media, or maybe they've connected with us through another event that we do. And so, you know, the celebration of Noblesville has become you know, even bigger since we've gone online and international. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. We have just gone crazy with it, right? Um, now, in the chat, and it's probably a little bit further up, uh, so let me see if I can very quickly... Uh, come over here. If, now it's your turn to vamp for a minute. because <laughs> You are, are free to uh, uh, come and go as you need during the presentation. It'll always be the same log on information. We are mm -hmm. also recording so that you are aware because then we'll have a, a great video to save and share for those who weren't able to join us tonight and hopefully get your artwork and your creations out there to an even wider audience audience yes and okay so what i was trying to do was put in the chat for you guys uh there's the link to if you want to share how to have people purchase the book uh, they can purchase it directly from our printer and that gets a direct uh, printing and shipping directly to the purchaser so it doesn't have to come to us first and then we have to you know reship it to uh, whoever ordered it. So that's there for anybody who needs more copies. Yay! The more the merrier, right? Um, and then what we want to do now, Sarah E, is I want to screen share. Look at all those people who are here with us. Yay! I am going to play a little video that is our, our way of thanking our supporters. So let me do this for you. appreciate all of our partners, our sponsors, all the artists who have contributed. And by artists, I mean, you know, creative artists of any type. So thank all of you for your support and participation. Yes, and thank you to James. I always got to do another extra shout out to James Weston, our friend James, who um, gave us that, in, that music that we play for our podcast and we play for things like this. And it just, it's just a wonderful little original tune of his and we just love it. Thank you, James. We love you. All right. So now without further ado, the moment we've all been waiting for the announcement of the 2021, the Polk Street Review Awards. Hooray! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah. So, as we, as we have said many times, so many of these pieces, I would say all of them are deserving of some kind of award and recognition. It's but so hard. It's so hard to it's so hard to pick the the awards. It really is. Mm -hmm. We did select um, a few though to to highlight tonight. And so, uh, first off, with our theme, which again was family traditions, old and new, our Sarah, theme contest well, winner, Sarah E. Can I yes. interrupt you before you yes. <laughs> right in the middle of the first announcement? I just want to let everybody know that we have a rule <laughs> that no one on the board or related to the board is eligible for awards. Makes yes. it a little bit easier for us, but not much. <laughs> so go ahead, Sarah E. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's a good thing to say that we're we're trying to be be very fair that way. Yeah. 
Yes, but our, yeah. our best use of theme mm -hmm. winner is Vivian Bell. Mm -hmm. Yay! So congratulations. On to our special awards. Oh, um, yes. Our first special award goes to E.A. Wasonga, uh, who we know as Emily. Emily. And Emily is owner of LHOC Creations. And we present... Yeah. That's Love's Hangover Creations, for those of you who don't know her little uh, logo. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we are presenting a special award to her. She is consistently not only put in thought-provoking pieces, beautifully written pieces, but she has also supported us in this project through fundraising. She did meals to fundraise for yeah. us this year. Um, in the past when we had live events, maybe by bringing in things, you know, food to, to, as a vendor, artwork, you know, she's been, ex she's been a, a reader many years. She supported us in many ways. Yes, she's fabulous. So thank you, Emily. Yay! Yes. All right, our next special award goes to Kim Carlson. Congratulations, Yay. Kim. Kim is new to the Polk Street Review. Um, this is her first ever submission to the publication, and it shares elements of her journey of healing as a sexual abuse survivor. And so in recognition of that bravery and publicly sharing her story, we really wanted to honor that and acknowledge that and present her with a special award. So yes. thank you, Kim. Yes, and the, the, it's really a wonderful <clears throat> thing that Kim, Kim is doing by sharing her story because one of her main goals in doing that is to give voice and encourage other abuse survivors to have to find their voice and so we really felt that um, this was a this was a perfect person to receive one of our special awards so congratulations Kim <laughs> absolutely congratulations um, for the images category because uh, now we're into where we divide it into images prose and then poetry slash song lyrics. We pick out first, second, third, and sometimes honorable mentions. And to do the images, I want you to see the images. So let me do a screen share so you may also see these beautiful images. And while you're doing that, I'll just say welcome to everybody else who's joined us. Um, try to get, get a look at all the names of the people who are here. And I'm so happy that you're all here, oh. that you're joining oh. in. And Sarah E's going to share the images of our image category winners this year. Yes. Excellent vamping as I find the correct screen. <laughs> I know. I, I told everybody this is the first time we've been Facebook Live, but this is, not, this is about the third time we've done really a lot of screen sharing. So bear with us while we're getting our screen sharing going. All right. I am almost there and hitting all, right. all the magic as buttons. Much, as much as we use Zoom for our podcast recordings and everything, it still takes a lot of clicks to get something to roll. <laughs> All right, we're ready to roll. The images category. In third place, we have alcohol ink mugs by Andrea Hayden. Those are fabulous, and I, I love the fact that she makes the mugs, and she took this fabulous photograph of them. It's like two arts in one. So congratulations, Andrea, and thank you for sending in all the images that you sent in. They're just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, such, a, such a wide range. We appreciated that. In second place, we have Untitled 2 by Audrey Barcio. Congratulations. Yes, we love Audrey's work this year. Her paintings, the detail. Uh, these are all large format paintings, and the texture detail in them may not come out in the print version in the book, but um, I think you can even see some of that texture, even in a Zoom presentation. So they're fabulous. Thank you, Audrey. And in first place, man on the pier, George Wiley. Yay, George. Yay. We just love this, this photo. It, it almost had a surreal quality to it. And um, with our theme, family traditions, old and new, in the, you know, which when we picked the theme, we had no idea how pertinent that would be with COVID-19 and everything. Um, but this guy on the pier with his mask down, you know, feeling, you know, nobody's around him and yet it's ready for him to pull up at any moment. We just thought this was a fabulous photo. It just had a really good sense of he looks comfortable and yet mm -hmm. isolated. And there was just something about that that we just loved. So congratulations, George Wiley. 
for first place in our images category. Excellent. On to the pros category. Um, honorable mention, a key wrapped up in a mystery inside a Nash Rambler by Bonita Cox Searle. Yay, Bonnie! <laughs> I gotta say, when Sarah E. read the title to the piece, she just loved the title so much. She's like, that's a great title. I'm like, wait till you read the piece. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations in third place, Traditions Passed Down from a Galaxy Far, Far Away by Yay. Leah Leach. Yay, Leah. Leah is also a first-time contributor, contributor, I can't speak tonight, um, to the Polk Street Review, and I hope that you will continue to contribute. We, I just loved this piece. We both did. We thought it was great, so thank you for sending it in. Mm -hmm. In second place prose category, Kitchen Table by Deborah Peterson. Yay, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> As always, Deborah writes beautiful poetry. We loved this piece. Now, I, gotta, I should tell you guys that there's a reason we're not showing the poems. We want you to have the book. You have your books, you buy your books, you get to see the poems. <laughs> and in first place prose category, Rites of Passage by Patrick Callahar. Yay, Patrick. Congratulations. Patrick, first time submitting to the Polk Street Review, and you win first prize in the prose category. I don't know. I think that means you're a pretty good writer. <laughs> and, and may I say that I'm glad that we are joined uh, by good supporters today, not just your wife, but your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent job. On to the poetry slash song lyrics category. Our honorable mention Caretaker's Melody by Jenny Kalahar. Yay, Jenny. Congratulations. <laughs> what a great poem. Mm -hmm. In third place, The Loneliness of His Discontent by George Wiley. Way to go, George. That was such a good poem. We really, really appreciated it so much. Mm -hmm. In second place, The Crepe Myrtle by Michael J. Strosel, who I believe is joining us um, as he's driving. So as he's we'll driving, yeah. So <laughs> don't take your hands off that wheel, Mike. Um, I got to tell you, I loved this poem. This was just really one of my favorite poems in the entire book. So thank you so much for sending it in. And in first place in the poetry song lyrics category, Thanksgiving Ghost by Benita Cox Searle. Yay, Bonnie. Bonnie, this was just such a beautiful poem. Just, it just was gorgeous. And uh, I think it is going to reach a lot of people. And I, I think they're going to relate to it and feel it. And uh, it, certainly, it certainly made an impression on me. So I just loved it so much. Thank you so much for sending it in. Excellent. We do also have a, an award for, uh, we call it the Award of Merit. It's the best in book. So of yeah. all the entries of any genre in the book, we did pick one that we thought stood out the most. Mm -hmm. um, and this year, that award goes to Ode to the Comet Neowise by George W. Wolfe. Yay, George. <laughs> George, uh, I want to say, is this, this year your first time uh, submitting to the Polk Street Review? You, submit, you submitted last year, didn't you? Yeah. I okay. won, the, I, I won uh, a prize last year. I thought you did, but I, I, I'm always afraid to say things when my memory is like a leaky sieve. <laughs> but um, this, second year, second yeah, year. this poem really, uh, Award of Merit, you know, we're always looking for something that kind of is going to stick with you. It's something that we feel that people will relate to, people will get some emotional reaction that stays with them. And we really felt like this poem um, does that. And I will tell everybody that we, we have asked George to read this at the end of our presentation, so you will hear this poem out loud. And um, also, again, with the whole COVID-19 thing, which we really didn't anticipate being you know, part of our experience this past year while we were putting this book together, while all of you guys were working on your submissions and, and everything, uh, this, this poem really jumped out at us as, as tip top number one. So 2021 Award of Merit, George Wolf. Yay! Well done. And well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. Yes. This has been At the Roundtable with Alice and Sarah E. of Community Education Arts. Our nonprofit organization is based in Noblesville, Indiana. You can find us online at cearts.org. We'd like to thank James Weston for writing our intro music and for his technical savvy. Join us next time at, at the Roundtable. Table.